Greetings, brother. How fares your search? I've learned all there is to know about my target. Share your knowledge with me, then. Sabrand is said to be consumed by fear, driven mad by the knowledge that his death approaches. He has sealed the docks district, and now hides within waiting for his ship to arrive. This will make things dangerous. I wonder how it is he learned of your mission. The men I've killed, they are all connected. Al-Muallam warned me that word of my deeds has spread among them. Be on your guard, Altair. Of course, Rafiq. But I think it will be to my advantage. Fear will weaken him. Fast forwarding memory to a more recent one. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this finished up here, and then we can head along and take out our final target. Now, we don't have a lot of ground to cover, and, well, that's not much time for us to get away. Now this is inside of the port, and the port is, well, it's surrounded by a gigantic wall, so we're going to have to go through a choke point, so to speak. Hmm. Well, that's another guy I don't have to worry about on the rooftops, I guess. Oh, great. Okay. Well, that wasn't so bad. And we're coming up on the wall right here. 
Oh. And a flag. Now let's just make our way on over and find where the target is and... Whoa! <sighs> this used to be such a safe town. Ah, here we go. Let's see what's going on over here. You are mistaken, Master Sibrand. I would never propose violence against any man, and, and most certainly not against you. So you say, and yet no one here will vouch for you. What am I to make of this? I, I live a simple life, my lord, as do all men of the cloth. It is not for us to call attention to ourselves. Perhaps. Or perhaps they do not know you because you are not a man of God, but an assassin! Never! You wear the same robes. If they cover themselves as we do, it is only to instill uncertainty and fear. You must not give in. Are you calling me a coward? Challenging my authority? Are you perhaps hoping to turn my own knights against me? No, 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 no. I, I don't understand why, why you're doing this to me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> I don't recall accusing you of any wrongdoing, which makes your outburst rather odd. Is it the presence of guilt that compels a confession? But I confess nothing. Ah, defiant to the very end. What do you mean? William and Garnier were too confident, and they paid for this with their lives. I won't make the same mistake. If you truly are a man of God, then truly the Creator will provide for you. Let him stay my hand. You've gone mad. Will none of you come forward to stop this? He is clearly poisoned by his own fear, compelled to see enemies where none exist. It seems the people share my concern. What I do, I do for Acre! No! Oh! Stay vigilant, men. Report any suspicious activity to the guard. I doubt we've seen the last of these assassins. Persistent bastards. Now get back to work. Well, you think Al would have stood out pretty well in that lineup back there. But that just makes our job a little bit easier. So, as usual, stealth is the best approach. The guards don't mind if I jump on here. Pardon me, fellas. Hey. Uh... So, as you can see, there are a lot of guards right here. Once again, stealth is going to have to be handy. But stealth in the approach is one thing, but after we kill him, everything's going to be on high alert, and, well, things could potentially get very ugly. So let's see what we can do about that, shall we? Boat is over there. And we have a nice means of approach. First things first, let's make our way over to this tower before this guy spots us. Out of his sight. Now let's just deal with him. Oh, total cheap shot. I call bullshit. This is going pretty darn well so far, I think. 
Uh, fortunately, that didn't trigger a high alert, it seems. Now, uh, let's see. Sabrand is over there on his boat. We've got some... Oh. Fine! None of you will lift a hand in defense of your master! I'll take care of this heathen myself! Uh, seems we've been spotted, I think. What? Ladies and gentlemen, crazy as a shithouse rat. Okay, let's make our approach. Got some handy little poles to make use of. So just a hop, a skip, and a very big jump, and here we are. So he seems to be making rounds and shouting crazy talk and firing arrows. So let's just wait for him to come around here. Fine! If none of you will lift a hand in defense of your master, I'll take care of this heathen myself! Piggyback ride. Please, don't do this. You are afraid. Of course I am afraid. But you'll be safe now, held in the arms of your god. Have my brothers taught you nothing? I know what waits for me. For all of us. If not your god, then what? Nothing. Nothing waits. And that is what I fear. You don't believe. How could I, given what I know? What I've seen? Our treasure was the proof. Proof of what? That this life is all we have. Linger a while longer, then, and tell me of the part you were to play. A blockade by sea. To keep the fool kings and queens from sending reinforcements. Once we... Once we... Conquered the Holy Land? Freed it, you fool. From the tyranny of faith. Freedom? You worked to overthrow cities, control men's minds, murdered any who spoke against you. I followed my orders, believing in my cause. Same as you. So I have a question for you guys. What happens if you kill a target and nobody's around to see it? Apparently, absolutely nothing. So we can escape at our leisure here. Now, if I'd screwed up and jumped on him when he was walking away, you know, even if he just made it a few steps from where he was, I would have gotten spotted by guards, and then things would have really gotten ugly. If I try escaping this way, they would come along and, well... They don't adhere to the rule of one man per pole, so to speak. That sounded wrong. But basically they jump over and around and knock each other off. It's kind of funny. Until they knock you in the water. Then it just sucks. And this guy's stuck on me. There he goes. Now, as long as I don't do anything suspicious, I'll be perfectly fine. As far as suspicious, well, that's pretty much anything that draw attention to myself. Bumping into someone, running in high profile, meaning sprinting. Running in itself will kind of make them give, give you a second look. But we're almost free. Let's wait for these guys to pass. Okay. And say fuck. It seems that I held uh, the high profile run button a little too long. Have a jump kick. Uh, that was close to a, um, a stealthy retreat, I must say. Ugh. God, that view looks weird. Uh, seek the high ground. And let's get our bearings. And as I said, 
We pretty much have the length of a full building between us right here. Almost. Probably could have gone left over there to get in that garden, but it seems we're safe. Nope. Okay, here's a strategy to try on this. Pick them off with throwing knives as they come over. That's one. That's two. That's two. That's two. That's... Oh. Yeah, take a look who it is. The Templar. Or was. Well, you've seen this before. So let's just zip on through what's left of these guys. And that, as they say, is that. Let's hear some more stellar voice acting by Al. Altair, you've caused quite a stir. I've done as requested. Sabran's life is ended. So it is. So it is. You should ride for Masiaf and inform Al Muallim of your success. Yes. I should return and speak to him. Of this and other things. Is everything all right, my friend? You seem distant. It's nothing, Rafiq. Just a lot on my mind. Talk to me, then. Let me help. I need to make sense of this myself first. But thank you for the offer. It is the men you kill, isn't it? You feel something for them. How? Ah, my friend. You are not meant to enjoy these grim tasks. Regret, uncertainty, sympathy. This is to be expected. I should not fear these feelings. You should embrace them. They are what keep you human. What if I'm wrong? What if these men are not meant to die? What if they mean well? Misguided, perhaps, but pure in motive. I am but a Rafiq, Altair, and such things are beyond me. Perhaps Al Mualim can help you to make sense of it. Yes. Perhaps. Thank you, Rafiq. It is my pleasure to have served with one as skilled as you. Forwarding memory to a more recent one. to retrieve it. Working on it. And when it's done? He'll be taken care of. I want that progress report by tomorrow morning. I've got some work I need to do. So you've got the rest of the night to yourself. Well, that certainly didn't sound too good. But who's that he was talking to? Eh. Let's see what Blondie has to say. I think there's a problem with the Animus. Nope. It's working fine. I'm pretty sure it just ejected me I'm when it... I'm pretty sure you should shut up. You ready to finally tell me what's going on? We have to stop them, Desmond. When they access that last memory of yours, they're just getting started. They want to change everything. The way we live, the way we think, the way we are. You've gotten the lecture from Vidic about what's wrong with the world, how we need order and discipline, so they're going to give it to us. 
Only we don't have a say in the matter. How? The Templar treasure. They think it... Miss Stilva? I'm here. I need you to upload Desmond's files to the database. Got it. Well, that can't be the end of that conversation. Eh, she's holding out on us. Come on, have a seat. Oh. Nice view, don't you think? Ugh. Bright. Okay. So what? You're using me to find this Templar treasure? What do they call it? The Peace of Eden? Yes. Well, it's looking like it's at Messiah. So I don't know why they're wasting all this time with me. Why don't they just send their people to pick it up? They can't. It's not that simple. The artifact from Messiah, they had it. It was destroyed in the accident. Then what are they hoping for me? You know, for my ancestor to tell them? They're hoping he'll show them where the other ones are. You mean there's more than one of these things? Oh, Desmond, you have no idea. Is there a problem, Mr. Miller? No, Miller? woman. Everything's Denver on my end. Then, where are the files? I've got to move these files before he gets suspicious. We'll talk more later. Wait, what's that mean, everything's Denver? It means everything's fine. Why Denver? It's a reference to Denver International Airport. There's an underground facility there. It's where the accident happened. Well... That's strange. Aren't you tired? Seems we're done here. So the apple is destroyed. And also there's a mention of some accident in Denver. Hmm. Vidic went inside here previously. Can't see him. He usually exits out the other door. Maybe he was heading off to meet with that guy or something? Yeah, we still can't get through. We need some sort of passcode or combination or something. Mm-hmm. Well, let's just give her a moment to wrap up. Ah, it's been so long. Oh. Wait a second. Hello, creepy cam. Still working hard, I see. Okay, let's head back outside. Lucy hopefully is skedaddled by now. And we can just take a gander at the email. Nothing wrong there. Coast seems clear. Okay. Now, let's see what Lucy's been up to. Today is September the 6th in game. So nothing here. Nothing there. Aha! Now this is a very long series of replies. Start from the very bottom and I'm gonna pan upwards.
Well, he it uh, at least he developed some caps lock discipline, I, I guess. That was kind of strange. But it seems outside of that, Lucy doesn't have anything interesting for us to take a look at. But Wally, on the other hand... Let's see what that grumpy Gus has been up to. Hmm, quite a bit. Now, once again, I'm jump cutting to the foot of a very long series of replies. So I'm going to be panning upwards, but first, I'm going to scroll down to show the rest of this lengthy message. Okay, next message. And once again, same thing. Long series of replies. This is the bottommost email. Hmm. Seems we've got a, a handy little combination for a certain door. And nothing else, it seems. So we got that combination, but... Let's skip that door and save it for the next time we're out of the Animus. Hello? You know, I always wonder, when Lucy has those conversations with us and acts very... You know, she's quite obviously against what the Templars are doing by, the po by this point. You'd think they'd be watching with the cameras and picking it up and kind of being, you know, treating her very suspect. But whatever, overthinking it, sleep time. Time's wasting, Mr. Miles. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. We're nearly done, you know. And then what? You'll see. Maybe they'll even let you watch when it begins. It's not as terrible as you think. Look, I know you're not going to let me leave. So why not tell me what's going on? Humor me. I'm not an idiot, Mr. Miles. I think you've already learned quite a bit. I don't know what you're talking about. Of course not. All right, let me ask you something else then. Yes? Some of the stuff I'm seeing in the Animus, sometimes it seems wrong. Untrue, like the history is off somehow. It doesn't... It doesn't what, Mr. Miles? Match up with what you read on an online encyclopedia? What your high school history teacher taught you? Let me ask you something. Do these supposed experts have access to secret knowledge kept hidden from the rest of us? There are books, letters, documents, all sorts of source material from back then. Some of it seems to contradict what the Animus is showing me. Anyone can write a book, and they can put whatever they want on its pages. Anything. <laughs> Used to be we thought the world was flat. Some people still do. Yes, and they publish books about it. Or that the moon landing was a hoax? I believe there's also a book claims the world was created in seven days. A bestseller, too. 
Where's this going, Doc? The point, I suppose, is that you shouldn't trust everything you hear, everything you read. What's that your ancestors said? Nothing is true. Everything is permitted. Yes, exactly. It's part of what makes the Animus so spectacular. There's no room for misinterpretation. There's always room. Touché, Mr. Miles. Now that I've answered your question, can we begin? Well, it's pretty clear that they're gonna give old Desmond the axe once it's all said and done. Nothing to say. Hmm. Oh well. Back to work for today, I guess. Just got one more guy to kill. And that should end this. Only question is, uh, what happens after that? Let's go, Mr. Miles. Time's wasting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come in, my student. We have much to discuss. We are close, Altair. Robert de Sable is now all that stands between us and victory. It is his mouth gives the orders. His hand pays the gold. With him dies the knowledge of the Templar treasure and any threat it might pose. I still don't understand how a simple bit of treasure could cause so much chaos. The peace of Eden is temptation given form. Merely look at what it's done to Robert. Once he tasted of its power, the thing consumed him. He saw not a dangerous weapon to be destroyed, but a tool. One that would help him realize his life's ambition. He dreamed of power then? Yes and no. He dreamed, still dreams, like us, of peace. But this is a man who sought to see the Holy Land consumed by war. No, Altair. How can you not see when you're the one that opened my eyes to this? What do you mean? What do he and his followers want? A world in which all men are united. I do not despise his goal. I share it. But I take issue with the means. Peace is something to be learned, to be understood, to be embraced. He would force it. And rob us of our free will in the process. Strange to think of him in this way. Never harbor hate for your victims, Altair. Such thoughts are poison and will cloud your judgment. Could he not be convinced then to end his mad quest? I spoke to him in my way through you. What was each killing if not a message? But he has chosen to ignore us. Then there's only one thing left to do. Jerusalem is where you faced him first. It's where you'll find him now. Let this final offering lend you strength. Go, Altair. It's time to finish this. And here's our last little upgrade. Got the best sword right now. The Syrian sword. And extra throwing knives as well. Always nice. So, one last trip to Jerusalem. After that, we're all done. Well, let's start making our way over then, I guess. I'll see y'all soon.